I'm Jean Anderson and my background is I was a math teacher and I started working with Dr. Sowell on a math science partnership and we found out that we had a common interest in a lot of things and he had this project to hook up to the telescope in Hawaii so teachers could use the telescope to bring real world, real life, real time connections from the moon to their classroom. They will get to see nighttime moon and other planets in their classroom and it'll be like 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning here but it'll be dark in Maui. I'm Tracy Arthur. I'm a science teacher at Taylor Room Middle School in Fulton County. There's a two-fold um, goal here. One is to learn more content related to astronomy and then secondly to use the telescope and understand how they can implement that technology in their classroom. My name is Brian Boardman Rackley and I teach fourth grade at Hertz Ferry Elementary School, math and science. I learned myself how to operate the telescope and had that ability to do the hands-on, um, plus just the excitement of um, being an astronomer. Um, it's an exciting um, aspect of learning for myself that I will then be able to go and give to my students. And I cannot wait for the looks on their faces when we're looking at the moon and it's happening right then. They'll be able to uh, look at the moon, um, focus in on sp particular aspects of the moon that they want to see, um, and it will allow us to integrate the use of technology with curriculum that is already in place for the school. You know, in the past I've taught lessons on the phases of the moon or maybe the geography of the moon, different features of the moon, but now I can take it one step further and open up the telescope program and actually show my students live feed from the telescope and say, okay, here are the Maria, here are the highlands. These are different craters and they can see it in real time. Um, we've also talked about using iPads at the same time so that students can kind of look at the map on their iPad as well while they're looking at the feed from the telescope. Students today, technology is second nature to them. And this is going to be a, oh my gosh, here's something real world rather than something in a computer game or something like that. And I want them to feel that passion and I'm hoping that I can take what I'm feeling myself and give that to them. Now usually one person or two people can look at a telescope. We're going to have this where thousands of people are looking at one telescope. It's going to affect so many different people, not even in Georgia, but anywhere that they have access to a computer. Our teachers will be controlling it, but anyone can log on and see what Miss So-and-so is doing in their classroom and they'll sign up for a 30 minute block and they'll have control of the telescope. And how powerful, what more can you give to a teacher? I've learned a lot more about the optics of telescopes and just how they work on a very technical level that I really didn't understand before. And then I got to come to the observatory and actually command and control the telescope with a little handheld device and then on the computer as well. And that's just an experience I've never had and would never have had, so that's been great. I think students learn much better when they care about the subject matter, and this is going to give them, at least that's my hope, the, um, the wonder and the aha times that will keep them engaged and make them want to learn.